Hi everyone, welcome to Go Classes. In this lecture, we will see some terminology, some definitions related to the clock. Okay, so you know what is a clock? Clock is basically a continuous oscillating signal. Okay, so for example, you can notice this is a clock. You can notice. Okay, so this is a continuous oscillating signal. I can say so this this type of signal, this type of signal. Okay, you can notice this is a okay. This is a continuous oscillating signal this is oscillating between 0 and 1 okay so this is the level 0 this is the level 1 0 level okay 1 level or i can say this is here the uh, clock is on and here the clock is off and you can notice this is the rising age here the clock is making the transition from 0 to 1 so this i can say okay so this this age this is called rising age the name of this age is rising age or you can call it positive age and we can notice that this is during this age you can notice the a the i can say the clock is going from zero uh, clock is going from one to zero clock is going from on state to off state i can say okay so you can notice this age this age is called falling age because our clock is going from one to zero our clock is going from high level to low level or i can say our clock is going our clock is going from uh, on state to off state so you can notice this is the falling age or i can say this is the falling age or i can say this is the negative age okay so this is the definition related to clock and uh, you can notice so these are the and this is the positive level this is called level you can notice okay so this is called positive or i can say high level and this is called a negative level and you can notice okay so this this level if you notice so this is called negative or i can say negative level or you can call it low level okay or you can call it zero level so these are some terminologies you can use okay or you can call it off level okay so you can note this is off level and this is the on level or i can say positive level or i can say high, high level and this is the falling age because our clock is uh, our clock is going from one to zero and this is the rising age because clock is going from zero to one so basically in a clock we have these type of things so you can notice clock is nothing but a continuous oscillating signal i can say okay so i can say clock is nothing but continuous oscillating signal between zero and one one and zero okay high okay high level low level and and so on so this is a clock and you cannot this is also a clock okay so you can note this this type of this type of signal is also a clock so you can notice this type of signal this is also a clock because clock means what clock means continuous oscillating signal between 0 and 1 okay continuous oscillating signal between high level and low level okay so this is a clock this is a clock these are clocks and you can notice what is a period okay so you can notice that okay between any consecutive positive edges i can say okay so what is this this is called clock period remember this duration is called clock period so this duration this is known as clock period so what is a clock period clock period means okay i can say the duration between two consecutive high edges or i can say the duration between consecutive falling edges for example this is a falling edge this is a falling edge so i can say that this duration this duration this is also your clock period so clock period means i can say that clock what is a clock period clock period means the duration between two okay consecutive high edges two consecutive rising edges or i can say the duration between two consecutive falling edges so this is the duration between two consecutive falling edges this is the duration between two consecutive rising edges so this is called clock period this is also clock period okay and here you can notice this is the rising edge this is the rising edge so the the duration between the rising edges the duration uh, duration between the consecutive rising edges this is called clock period so here the clock period is this or you or i can say the duration between consecutive falling edges these are the falling edges so this is also clock period so this is also clock period you can notice okay so this is the definition of clock period i hope this is clear to everyone so you can notice clock period this is the definition of clock period and these are the terminology related to clock and you can also notice one more thing what is a clock frequency so what is clock clock frequency clock frequency means basically i can say means how many oscillations we are making per second i can say okay so clock frequency means per second how many oscillations we are making okay i can say so basically oscillations per second like okay so you can you can call it oscillations per second per second 
for example let us assume that you have a clock like this okay let's assume this is your clock and in this clock you can notice let us assume that this duration means i can say the clock period so let us assume this period okay so what is this period so let's assume that this period is 5 nanosecond if this period is 5 nanosecond then what is the frequency so you can notice what is this 5 nanosecond means 5 nanosecond means basically i can say that every 5 nanosecond our clock is making okay uh, our clock is going from uh, rising edge to rising edge okay so every 5 nanosecond okay so you can notice i can say every 5 nanosecond our clock is making one oscillation or i can say like this okay so basically i can say frequency means what frequency means one upon period because you can notice okay if your period is okay if your clock period is large just think about it if your clock period is large for example let us assume this is the rising edge and let's assume your clock period is large like this okay so you can notice here our clock this is the clock period if our clock period is large it means frequency is less okay so here our period i can say the clock period is large so whenever your clock period is okay large okay it means what i can say it means your frequency your clock frequency is what clock frequency is low and similarly you can notice this this okay look at this clock look at this clock so this clock is making oscillations very fast okay so you can notice frequency means i can say oscillations per second and you can notice this clock is making oscillations very slowly but this clock is making oscillations very fast because here the period is less and you can notice this is the clock period so here the clock period is this and you can notice when period is when the clock period is large then frequency will be low and when period will be low then it means frequency will be high so for this clock frequency is high because it is making okay you can notice okay it is making more oscillations per second than this clock okay so for this clock the frequency is low okay anyway you can notice that frequency means one upon clock period so i can say frequency means one upon five nanosecond now you can notice nano means what nano means nano means okay nano means 10 power minus 9 okay and what is 10 power 9 10 power 9 means giga okay so you can notice this is uh, so 1 power 1 by nano so that means giga so i can say this means gigahertz or i can say g okay and 1 by second means remember 1 by second or i can say per per second so what per second means per second means hertz okay so hertz means per second okay so this is the unit of frequency i can say so this is the unit of frequency hertz and i can say hertz means per second so you can note this per second means hertz and this one by n means giga and finally you have this okay one by five gigahertz so this is the frequency so frequency is one by five gigahertz okay so this is how you can find the frequency frequency means one by clock period so we have seen what is the clock frequency what is okay high level low level positive ways uh, negative ways all these concepts we have seen now let us see one more concept one more definition that is what is clock width okay or i can say pulse width the definition is very sim uh, sim simple for example okay let us look at this clock okay so in this clock you can not okay so let's let's look at this clock now in this clock we can notice that this period basically this period i can say the own period we call it own period okay so you can notice this own period is basically called clock width so this on period the another name of on period is clock width or i can call it pulse width so pulse width or i can say clock width means basically this on period means okay in a period okay so within a period for example this is a clock period you can notice that this okay this is the rising as this is the rising as so this is the clock period and in this clock period for how much long okay for how long i can say our clock is high okay so this period is basically called the this this period is called pulse width or clock width okay so clock width the concept is very simple for how long okay during a period you can notice for example consider this consider this clock and now let us consider this clock okay now in this clock you can notice that what you can notice one thing you can notice that in this clock what is happening in this clock it is happening that okay this is the rising as this is the rising as so this is the period this is the clock period i can say okay so this is your clock period but in this clock period you can notice for only this much amount of time for very small amount of time i can say our clock is this is the on period okay so this is the on period and on period means basically your clock width okay so clock width or i can, and you can also call it pulse width the another name is pulse 
width. So this is the definition of pulse width or I can say clock width. Okay. So this concept is clear. So you can notice here the pulse width is very low and you can notice here the pulse width is comparatively high. So this is the concept of pulse width. Now let us see the next concept of duty cycle or power cycle. What is this duty cycle concept? So what is a duty cycle? Duty cycle means basically for how, okay, basically the percentage of time, the percentage of on time, I can say the percentage of on time, okay, in a clock period, in a clock period. So what it means that it means that you can notice here the clock period. Let us assume that clock period is let us assume 10 nanosecond. Okay. And you can notice, let us assume this on period for how long in this clock period, in this clock period for how long our clock is in the on state let us assume this is 2 nanosecond then what will be the duty cycle the duty cycle concept is very simple for okay what is the percentage of time what is the percentage of time in a clock period our clock is in the on state our clock is in the high level okay so you can notice 2 nanosecond divided by 10 nanosecond so that will be the answer 2 divided by 10 okay so you can notice okay you can find it in a percentage if you want to find the answer in a percentage then i can say that these for this okay so this is the you can notice for 20 percent so pulse duty cycle means 20 percent so you can notice duty cycle tells us what is the percent of on time on period in a clock period so i can say duty cycle means okay the formula is very simple duty cycle means what is the clock width okay so what is the, what is the pulse width this means pulse width or i can say on period basically this means on period what is the own period divided what is the total period time okay so i can say this is the total clock period or i can say clock period or i can simply say clock period so you can say that own period divided by clock period so that that, that basically tells us okay for how much percent of time our clock is in the in the high level okay so i can say own period divided by clock period this is called duty cycle now, for example, if I say that duty cycle is 80%, let us know. I say that duty cycle is 80%. What it means? It means that it means that our clock is high in the high level. I, our clock, I can say our clock is in the high level for 80% of amount of time and low level for a very small amount of time. So this type of clock you have. Okay, I can say so your clock is basically this type of clock you have. So you can notice. Now you can notice in this clock, you can notice that this is the clock period so this is the clock period this is the clock period and i can say that okay for almost 80 percent of time in this clock period you can notice in this clock period for almost 80 percent of time our clock is in the high level or i can say our clock is in the uh you can notice in the level in the own level so this is the own period so i can say within within a period within a clock period for 80 percent of time our clock is in the on on period so this is your own period i can say okay so this is the on period or you can also call it pulse width or you can call it clock width okay so this is the definition of duty cycle so you can notice the in this clock if you notice in this clock then okay so total clock period is 10 okay so the clock period is 10 but you can notice in this total clock period for only 2 nanosecond, our clock is in the on level. Our clock is in the high level. So I can say duty cycle is only 20%. Okay. So this is the definition of duty cycle. Now in the next lecture, we will see some, uh, some more examples related to setup time and hold time. Okay.